Hey, what's up guys? We just started a drive, heading across town. Thought I'd bring you along, full self-driving beta, as we head into that roundabout nicely. Grab your coffee if it's morning, grab your cocktail if it's evening, come along for the ride. We are in a Model Y, long range, full self-driving beta, hardware 4, version 11.4.4. Nice, beautiful, clear day as we take this drive across town. Apologies for my bare legs. Didn't have time to put on pants this morning. That's a lie. Of course I had time to put on pants, but I chose shorts. I do notice sometimes I hover my foot over the accelerator and brake. That's a habit, just ready to take over if needed. But I've been having some great, smooth, flawless rides with Tesla Full Self Driving lately. It's a beautiful product. We're gonna to continue to test it as we march on toward full autonomy with version 12 that I estimate will not be out till fall of 2024 with hardware 4 probably spring of 2024 with hardware 3 but we shall see again phenomenal that now i know all you have to do is flick that volume knob to let the computer know that you are here instead of jerking on the wheel I will say beta does abide by the speed limits, although you can see I can increase the speed limit past 25 and it will break the law if I tell it to, as I did just there. As we approach this roundabout, this particular roundabout has given me some embarrassing problems as it doesn't know whether it's a roundabout. Oh my goodness. I mean, that is so herky-jerky. Who knows somebody at Tesla? Get that video to them. I want them on that exact roundabout fixing it. And it's got to be the worst roundabout in America. And I'm just going to keep driving through it until they fix it. Now, will version 12 do that? I don't know. Can't wait to find out. We are on full self-driving aggressive um, for the first time today. Just testing it out to see how much more aggressive it actually is. I will say that at that particular roundabout, full self-driving aggressive could more aptly be called full self-driving indecisive. Definitely not an enjoyable user experience. I'm gonna put the speed limit's 25. I'm gonna increase it to 30. As we're taking a nice smooth right. Nice smooth turns. I do love that. Limiting max speed for road type, it says. We're still at 25, but I've set it to 30, and we are going 30. So you can uh, override on beta the max speed limit, and it will still operate as we approach this car that's in a no parking spot in the middle of the road. Nicely avoided it. Uh, maybe that car was legally parked. We'll give it the benefit of the doubt. It was not illegally parked. Hope everybody's having a great day. Once again, we're calling on Magnus Carlsen, greatest chess player in the world, Norwegian, to come on the channel and talk artificial intelligence. Of course, chess uses neural networks. That was the first real real-world solve using neural networks was chess. 
Uh, the game is completely beaten by computers now. There is nobody in the world, including Magnus Carlsen, that can beat the best chess computers. So chess neural networks and full self-driving neural networks are cousins, and we would love to talk to him. So come on the channel. Botez sisters, of course, are banned. We all know why, as we take a nice, beautiful left there. This has got, it's got to fix this. When you go over a hill, it, it's got to not be on the left. Uh, you can't see over the hill, and for some reason on these roads that don't have good markings, it gets too far to the left when it goes over those hills. And then if a car comes, it's got to take evasive action to get out of the way from a head-on collision. So stay to the right on an unmarked road like this. That should be obvious. But for you guys, we will keep erring on the side of non-intervention, even if it puts our life at peril as we approach this intersection and about to reach our destination. Appreciate you guys watching and subscribing. Make sure you leave a comment. It helps us get to where we are ultimately going. First stop is a thousand subscribers and then the sky's the limit. Uh, and we're gonna get there. If you haven't checked out some of the shorts that I've been posting, please do. Had some interesting edge case tests that I've had on those, check them out. Appreciate all the comments, even from the haters. But of course, appreciate supportive comments as we get to our destination here. Hope everybody's having a great day. That's it for today. We, we will see you next time.